a group calling itself Election Watch this morning alleged that the Electoral Commission was secretly um, registering persons onto the voters' register. But the Electoral Commission is flatly denying that allegation. They say that cannot happen and per the laws governing voter registration exercise, they cannot do any registration without political parties being in the know. Anytime the Commission is undertaking a registration exercise, we do it with the political parties. So it's not possible. It's, it cannot happen that the commission will uh, register people without the political party. So the EC has meanwhile been announcing modalities for the voter exhibition exercise. From the 20th to, to the 27th, the Electoral Commission is going to put the provisional register on display at the various polling stations across the country for persons who have registered and have been captured onto the voters register to go out there and check that all their details are correct. Thus, the provisional voters register will be displayed at all polling stations which will now be constituted as exhibition centers throughout the country to enable all registered voters check and ensure that their names are in the voters register. The purpose of the exhibition exercise is to allow registered voters to verify their details. The Electoral Commission had come under intense fire from the NDC who had been demanding that the provisional voters register be given to the NDC and other political parties. According to the EC, the copies have been made available to all political parties and as of this morning, the NDC had come for their copy. We wish to state that the external drives containing the provisional voters register are ready for pickup. However, we can state on record that the NDC has collected its external drive which contains the provisional voters register. The other parties are also collecting them as we speak. Prior to this press conference to brief the nation on the upcoming voter exhibition exercise, the EC had been meeting the Election Security Task Force led by IGP Dr. George Kufu Dampare, who has been issuing a stern warning to all political parties and their supporters to desist from causing trouble at this exhibition exercise and also ahead of the 2024 election in terms of peace, security, law and order from our side, and also in terms of transparency, fairness from the side of all the other stakeholders, we will be second to none, so that our beloved country continue to be a trailblazer for the rest of the continent and beyond. We want to also want to use this to urge all the stakeholders, especially the political parties, that all the issues, all the concerns that they may have in the course of this part of the process, they should ensure that we use due process of engagement of within the law to handle every situation. We don't want to see any situation where anybody will make an attempt to take the law into his or her own hand. If that happens, we will work within the law to deal with the situation. In the coming days, the tension are set to go up as the Electoral Commission put this provisional voters register on display for persons to go out there and check that their names and their details are properly captured. A lot of allegations are going to go around. The Electoral Commission is urging the media and the general public to treat some of these strong allegations against them with the contempt they deserve. They insist that they have, that they have all that it takes to conduct a peaceful process that will ensure that the will of the Ghanaian people is respected. Reporting for Joy News, Kweku Asante, the Electoral Commission headquarters here in Accra.